study shows Michigan ranks 10th in the country when it comes to a vegan population and plant-based restaurant options. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javed gives us a taste of the Going Green movement. 72 years old Charles Lewis has been on a plant-based diet for over 40 years. What's been the one biggest change you've noticed? More energy. Uh, I stay focused longer. And eating veggies also helps this certified firearms instructor save money. If you buy the animal base, it would probably be 75% more. Paul Shapiro from the Better Meat Co. says by eating greens, you also help save the planet. Raising animals for food is a driving force in deforestation, climate change, and so many other problems. A San Diego State University study shows that Michigan has a vegan population of 441 per 1 million people. And with a growing number of plant-based restaurants, Paul says the state has always been a leader. Largely because Morningstar Park which is one of the biggest players in the plant-based industry, is based in Michigan. In fact, Ariston Advisory and Intelligence data shows that plant-based meat market will reach $18 billion by 2027, with North America to occupy the largest share in the market. One of the biggest uh, consumer groups that is really into plant-based meat these days is the African-American demographic. Paul thinks the popularity has increased as more black celebrities are becoming vegan or vegetarian. But according to dietitian Christy Stevenson, going green comes with a caveat. Oreo cookies, uh, Lay's potato chips, they're vegan, all right? But they're void of those good, healthy nutrients. Christy agrees that a plant-based diet comes with many health benefits, but as long as folks are making smart choices, because vegetarian-based fast food can also be equally damaging. Understand that those products are equal in calories and fat, as your as their beef counterpart um, and they're actually even a little bit higher in saturated fat and sodium now if you're thinking about transitioning into a plant-based diet then christy recommends to making it a gradual process by adding more vegetables to your plate eliminating processed food and once you've built your palate then go ahead and replace those animal products with plant-based options reporting from downtown detroit i'm faraz javid seven action news